In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a rear wheel bearing on your Honda Accord. This will be located behind the wheel. Let's get started. Using a 19 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the e-brake bracket. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt for the brake line bracket. Pull the bracket out. Remove the two 14 millimeter bolts for the caliper bracket. Get them both loose before you remove them. Pull the assembly off and rest it somewhere where there's no tension on the brake hose. If you have a bolt holding on the rotor, go ahead and remove that now. Ours is missing. Remove the rotor. I'm going to use a flat punch to remove the axle nut cap. Remove the cap, unstake the axle nut, using a 32 millimeter axle nut socket we're going to remove the axle nut and use a hammer and tap on the back and pop the bearing off. Using a cutoff wheel we're going to make a mark in our inner race. We're not gonna cut all the way through, just most of the way. We wanna be very careful of this spindle. We do not want to cut it at all. We're going to take a chisel and split the race. Once the race is split, you'll see it'll be able to move around the spindle. Slowly work it off. and remove the inner race. I'm gonna wipe down the spindle. If you have any rust buildups, 
You're going to want to take a piece of emery cloth and go around and clean up those spots. Using a piece of emery cloth, we're going to clean up that spindle. Bit of parts cleaner and a clean rag. Wipe it down. Install the new bearing. Put a bit of engine oil on the bottom of the spindle nut. And install it onto the spindle. Snug it down. Torque the axle nut to 134 foot-pounds. Using a hammer and a punch, stake the spindle nut. Install the dust cap. Tap it down into place. Install the rotor. If you have it, go ahead and install that rotor screw. We don't have a rotor screw, but to hold the rotor, I'm going to use an oversized nut and put a lug nut over it. Install the caliper assembly onto the rotor. Get the bolt started. Snug the bolts down. Torque the caliper bracket bolts to 41 foot-pounds. Install the brake hose into the bracket and get the bolt started. Snug the bolt down. Torque the bolt to 16 foot pounds. Install the e brake cable to the bracket. Snug the bolt down, torque it to 16 foot-pounds. Use the lug nut to hold on the rotor. Go ahead and remove that now. Install the wheel. Get the lug nut started. Snug the nuts down. Torque the lug nuts in a star pattern to 80 foot-pounds.
and you're good to go. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.